There is Ruslan Atiyev, the maniac, 31 years old, fighting out of Russia, 180 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 73 kilograms. His professional record, 66 fights, 50 wins, 14 losses, two draws, and over 100 amateur Muay Thai fights. I'm thinking about maybe having him change his nickname to The Persistent. He has fought here at Thai Fight three times. All losses. Lost by TKO to Kitty in September. Also has lost to Hayek Samui, and he's lost to the man he's fighting tonight, Sensatone. That was back in 2018, I believe, and a knockout in the second round. That would have been at 70 kgs. We're moving up for this one to 73 kgs, and there is the man, Sensatone, aka Sunshine Muay Thai Jim. 27-year-old, originally from Konkan province in Thailand, fighting out of the famous PK Sanchai Muay Thai Gym, of course. 175 fights with 140 victories, with 30 losses and five draws. A former Lumpini Stadium champion, former champion of Thailand, Isuzu Cup Super Fight champion of 2017. Of course, Kong Lai just won this one. Thai fight champion also of the same year. Turns to tie fight at a higher weight and looks fresh, composed. We actually spoke to him backstage at the last tie fight. We said to him, Are you not going back down to 70? And he said, No, he's much happier now with 72.5 kgs. And indeed, he's looking to fight at a heavier weight. Yeah, me too. And he got his wish. Me too. Five kilograms <laughs> Yeah, he seems happier. He seems Good. more comfortable at this weight. He's a growing boy. Oh, well, yeah. 27 year old. As Adam said, this is a rematch, two years in the making. Will it prove any different? If you've just joined us, folk. We've had a very violent, interesting start here to this Thai fight event. The debutant Gumpon Sa Tawan Rung, the WMO champion, won in the first round by a fight knockout against the Moroccan Nabil Igli. Petjija won via a doctor's stoppage in the second round against her opponent, Mariana Bernardes. And then an amazing fight for the, uh, the Isuzu Cup Super Fight. Konklai Animoitai won via third round knockout. And then Ikuzang in about 10 seconds, defeating Palmer Grover in our last fight. Before this one, Center Time, PK Sanchai Muay Thai Jim in the black corner. And Ruslan Atiev. White. From Russia. Mm. Not a lot of Mainers in Russia. Wrestling now fighting out of Venom Fight Gym in Patia. A lot of success they've had here in Thai Fight. Doing wonders at that gym. Could be an uphill battle here though for Ruslan against the great technical center time. We have seen him lose, it, of course, here at Thai Fight against Alexandra Boyser from the Ukraine. Every other fight he has won. Center of the ring. Good left. Body kick there from the Russian. Center time looking for the right high kick again. Rustline going low. Side kick to the front leg there from center time. Looking to go up high that time with that left hook. Trying to get through those Kajak ka ka rope wraps. Kajak. Ka ka <laughs> Still working on that one, man. Never ends. The work never ends. Nice outside leg kick again from Sensatar. Yeah, looking to take away the base of Ruslan. Oh! Beautiful left hook. check, left hook. Again. Ruslan looking for the right hand. Yeah, touched him with the left again as well. Couple of nice outside leg kicks. Matia, almost a dangerous slip there in the center of the ring. Not just a slip, I feel like the base is being taken away from Ruslan, and it's all due to the low kicks from Sensatan. Already taking the toll in this first red, round. You can see some redness on the outside of Sensatan's lead leg as well. Sensatan looking for that lead right. Again, going low. Ruslan looking for the jab. And he connected as well. Three or four have caught through. Just the 
toes connecting that side of the low kick. Sense of time. Oh, connects with that elbow. The block up. Corner of at Ruslan, telling them to use the boxing. Good right kick there from centre time. Good low kick up there from centre time. Looks like centre time's not going after the legs anymore. Just as I say that, he hurt you. <laughs> yeah, Ruslan looking for left. One, two, combination hooks. Sense time searching for that elbow again. I feel like he's struggling with the distance a little bit. Rusland moving backwards and doing a good job, throwing hands on the back foot. I would say volume. Volume for Sense time. Not many combinations being thrown from him here in round one. It's almost a bit hesitant to throw. We'll see if that changes oh, in round two. Bit of needle there. <laughs> There we can see the highlights of that opening round of this bout. Opening stages, center time was doing a job on the lower body of Rustam and those legs, of course. And Rustam doing a good job with the boxing, but that's what the corner of Rustam were requesting more of, more boxing. Well, I mean, we are almost at Christmas, so. Huh? I don't know, it's just going for a Christmas <laughs> joke. I would give that first round to Atia. How about you, Aaron? Yeah, I'd go, I'd go along with that. Again, great combinations, great boxing skills. Coach Diamond in the corner, a very famous Muay Thai fighter in his own right. Chris Foster's done a great job with the fighters of Venom and Ruslan. Yeah, you know he's getting, getting loose, loose when he started yeah. throwing that spinning stuff. Gotta Definitely. Say, uh, I gotta say though, his left leg is chewed up, so he's set to time. Yeah, they both Foster have damaged the legs. job on the leg. Take away the base he could. Sense time much boxing. more active here in round two. I think we both saw that coming. Good body shot there. Good kick to the body. I think that hurt Russell a little bit. Good body shot. Almost felt like in round one, Sense of Time was waiting a little bit too much for the fight to oh! come to And he just went out and took it. Right elbow straight to the temple. Doesn't matter how good you are at boxing, if one of those elbows connects, it's lights out, that's it. It's all she wrote, it's all over. Would you say that he went to the temple with a prayer? No prayer in this one. <laughs> oh, he's he is great at bleeding. Yeah. Oh, look where he connected, right on the back of the ear. Wow. to the back of the head. Oh, God, that's a That's a bad cut. gash to the back of the head. And we know that Atiyam left the ring last time just covered in blood. It's been a rough, rough couple of fights for Atiyam. He's demonstrably upset, understandably, because he was having such a good fight up until that one mistake. I know, one mistake is all it takes. Uh, that's all she wrote. Bang. God. And I've got to be honest, I think Sensor of Time was under a lot of pressure in that fight. You can see the relief, the way he celebrated. Russell did such a good job in the first and second round before yeah. he the eventual knockout elbow. That point. I agree. And apparently, we are back on live, live there. Thank you for informing me, Nat. Love you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> You missed the nine times he told you he oh. loved you off air. What an amazing oh, shot just, that is. The blood. Unbelievable. ขอแสดงความยินดีด้วยนะครับ